Matthew chapter 14, verse 22 to 36. Then Jesus made the disciples get into the boat and go on, go ahead on the other side of the lake while he sent the people away. After sending the people away, he went up a hill himself to pray. When evening came, Jesus was there alone. And by this time, the boat was far out in the lake, tossed about the waves because the wind was blowing against it. Between three and six o'clock in the morning, Jesus came to the disciples walking on the water. When they saw him walking on the water, they were terrified. Is it a ghost? They said and screamed with fear. Jesus spoke to them at once. Courage, he said. It is I. Don't be afraid. Then Peter spoke up. Lord, if it is really you, order me to come out on the water to you. Come, answered Jesus. So Peter got out of the boat and started walking on the water to Jesus. But when he noticed the strong wind, he was afraid and started to sink down in the water. Save me, Lord, he cried. At once, Jesus reached out and grabbed hold of him and said, How little faith you have. Why did you doubt? They both got into the boat and, they, and the wind died down. Then the disciples in the boat, boat worshipped Jesus. Truly, you are the Son of God, they ex exclaimed. They crossed the lake and came to a land at Gennesaret, when where the people recognized Jesus. So they sent for the sick people in all the surrounding countries and brought them to Jesus. They begged him to let those who were ill at least to touch the edge of his clock, and all who touched it were made well. Greetings to you in the name of the Blessed Trinity, Reverend Fathers and my dear brothers and sisters in Christ. I sincerely do hope this Lenten time has been one of a great cleansing of our hearts and souls. Let us pray that we are able to prepare ourselves well to be worthy to celebrate the blessed resurrection of our Lord. The gospel read, the gospel portion for this evening is taken from St. Matthew chapter 14, verse 23 to 36. Although there are several profound themes for thoughts in this passage, the one that is most familiar to us is indeed the part where Simon Peter walks on water and then begins to zinc for lack of faith. At, at the start of this passage in verse 23, we get our great inspiration to pray steadfastly, not just during this Lenten time, but at all times. The gospel records that after Jesus had finished his day's work and dis dismissed the crowd, he went up to the mountain to pray. We need to ask ourselves, do I really dedicate to pray at all times, even after a long, tiring day's work? Am I spiritually strong enough to dedicate my time for prayer? Or do I simply tick off the checklist by reading the Psalms and saying the Lord's Prayer? I would humbly like to share five points of thoughts from Simon Peter's amazing experience that we read in this passage. Firstly, like Peter, before we act, let us ask God his will. If we read closely, we will realize that Peter didn't recklessly jump out of the boat without thinking. He rather first asked, Lord, if it is you, let me come to you. We must be open to seek first the kingdom of God and his righteousness before acting on decisions, especially big ones. Mo most importantly, we must be careful about the many deviations that attract us today. Many things tend to attract us today and lure us away from God's presence. It is only when we are faithful, when we can be aware of God's presence. Like Peter, let us also be sure of God's presence before we take decisions in life. Secondly, Peter teaches us that obedience to the Almighty is the start of miracles. A miraculous and impossible as it sounds, Simon Peter was able to walk on water because he trusted Jesus to help him and obeyed his instructions. Thirdly, Peter experienced of walking on water teaches us not to lose sight of Jesus in the journeys of our life. In every step that we take, let us be focused on our almighty God. When we set our hearts and minds on Christ, even the impossible will happen. This is exactly what this Lenten time helps us to do. Through our biblical reflections, through our prayers, through our faith, and through our love for one another, we are able to clear all the distractions in life and set up, set our focus on true, true light. The fourth lesson that we learn from the passage is probably the one that needs to resound in our hearts the loudest. Do not let fear distract us from God. 
Most of us start out fine. We embark our life's goal and dreams. Even when start off with a wholehearted prayer, but what matters most is the steadfastness. When we see the storm brewing around us, do we lose focus of our Lord and get overwhelmed with fear and anxiety? As long as Simon Peter fixed his sight upon Christ, we was, he was a firm on top of the water. The moment fear took over him, he started to sink. When we trust in God's unfailing love for us, he will help us stay afloat. Lastly, but certainly not the least of the lesson we learn from this passage, when we stumble in life, God will reach out and grab hold of us. In verse 30, we read that Peter begins to sing, but it is when he cries out, Lord, save me, that Jesus immediately reaches out his hand and catches him. I would like to once again draw your attention to the key words here. Jesus immediately reaches out. Dear brothers and sisters, let us be steadfast in our faith. Let us ask God will and obey his instruction in our lives. Let us not lose sight of the grace of our almighty God and let us not let fear overcome us. We are assured that Christ will immediately reach out and catch hold of us when we zinc. But it is up to us. Let us cry out to him, Lord, save me. May this Lenten time be for us all a great blessing. May God bless us all. Thank you. Amen.